on and about to order these prints, so I wanted to show you what a bleed is in Illustrator. I'm Lainey of Design by Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer and educator for other creatives, and I'm gonna show you how I set up a bleed in Illustrator and how I do use these um, in my invitation designs. So a bleed basically means any design where the artwork goes off the page. And so up here, we don't have any bleeds, but down here, these mountains do bleed off of this right side, they bleed off the bottom, and they bleed off the left side. In this envelope liner, you can see the template in this red line. So there's gonna be a bleed on the left and a bleed on the right for these. And so what that means is it's really hard for printers to print directly to the edge of a page. So if you took a five by seven piece, put it in the printer and try to print it, it might shift a little. If you took a larger piece, which most printers do print multiple pieces on a larger parent sheet and then cut it down, especially when you're printing like a hundred quantity for invitations. So if you take a larger sheet, print six on it and then cut it down, there might be a little bit of shift with your cutting blades. And so if you're even like 1 64th of an inch off, you might see a white line on those edges where it cut a little weird. So what you have to do to um, accommodate that is you have to print your design a little bit further than it actually needs to be. This works really well for something like a landscape because it doesn't matter if it's cut like exactly on this line or a 32nd of an inch away. So most printers will tell you how much of a bleed that they need um, and you can design for that. My printers need an eighth of an inch bleed on all four sides of the page, even if the design doesn't actually bleed. So every file that I create, if this is a five by seven invitation, my artboard is five by seven and my bleeds, which are these red lines here, make the file actually 5.25 by 7.25 and that's what they need for me to upload. My printer is called Princewell Fulfillment. Um, if you use the link in the description, you can get $25 off your first order with them. And the best thing about them is they will tell you if you screw this up, if you try to upload a file and you don't include the bleeds, they'll say, hey, this file is wrong. And you don't have to wait for them to like email you back about that like you do with some local printers. Um, they will immediately tell you in the online ordering system and you can go ahead and fix it in Illustrator. So what this means is when I'm designing, I always want to make sure my design goes further than the edge of the paper. If it's stuck right here, um, I might risk getting some of that cut off. You can see where your design is going to look like when it's cut off by just going to like view, trim view. That's what it's going to look like. It's beautiful but I need to make sure that artwork goes a little further. So sometimes when I'm designing, I'll either work in trim view or I might include a uh, box. That's the size of my invitation. And then all of my artwork, I will group together and make a clipping mask with that box. So if you select the box and you go up to object, where you clipping mask, make, there we go. Now we have the artwork as it's going to look when it's printed. Uh, but when we are about to send it off to print, we have to release the clipping mask or at the very least, um, you'll need to change these anchor points so that the mask goes past the edge of the page, past that red line, anywhere that it's bleeding off the document. And then just another quick tip is if you have a template or something or one of those uh, squares that you use to create a clipping mask, just make sure it doesn't show up in the final document. So this one has that red line that might accidentally show up in the document, that template that I'm using, which by the way, Princewell provides. So if you're doing envelope liners with them, they provide this template for you. Um, so make sure you just take the color out of that and then print this file blank as it is just so that you don't accidentally have that template on there. And the last thing is when you're saving your file, how do you account for those bleeds? So this is artboard two for the invitation that we're going to use. And so when we go to save it as a PDF, just ask your printer what kind of leads they want and what kind of marks they want because they'll all um, want something different. So we'll do Mountains Lauren Print Ready. I'll save it as a PDF and I will use, to move my face out of the way, and I will use artboard one. Now, Illustrator default works really well with Princewell. It might not work with every single print situation, so always ask them what they want. I don't need to preserve the Illustrator editing capabilities uh, for my print-ready files. This will make your file a little bit smaller. 
And then you go to marks and bleeds. Again, ask your printer what they want. Some printers do want trim marks, um, so you can automatically turn those on here. I don't need that for prints well, so I'm just going to pay attention to the bleeds, make sure I have that 0.125 on either side. So if you don't design with that red line, then you can always just turn it on here and save it exactly like that. And just so you know, when you're doing your document setup, what does that look like? So when you create a new document, there's this option for the bleed. So you can just turn that off if you don't want to design with it and all those red lines will go away or you can always change it to you know, 0 0.125, 0 0.25, whatever your printer wants, whatever you need for your purposes, you can change it to that. And that will help give you a guide while you're designing so that you know how far that artwork needs to extend beyond the edge of the page. Lastly, when you're doing this, just pay attention to the fact that some of this is potentially going to get cut off. I would say in this design, my biggest concern here would be these trees. So if I really, really wanted more of this tree to show, then I need to move it over because a part of this is potentially going to get cut off. So I'll show you, you know, as much as that is going to get cut off, but then also potentially it could be something like this or somewhere in the middle, kind of like this kind of like this, there's really room for about an eighth of an inch shift when they're cutting. Um, so if you want something definitely to be cut off, make sure it's past the bleed. And if you want something to definitely show, make sure it's a good bit in past the bleed. So if this was helpful in learning about file bleeds in Illustrator, um, let me know what questions you have and check out some more of our invitation and graphic design videos while you're here.